be back. You can see my pile of stuff right there. This is Julie Jordan Scott. Glad to be here. Part two. Um, we just had less than a half an hour ago, probably about 15 minutes now. We just had our poetry and writing prompts here at my kitchen table. And um, I read a poem by Edna St. Vincent Millay, I being born a woman. And from that, I said that I would write from the prompt and then come back here and share it with you and sort of talk about the process in case you wondered how I work with the processes that I create. So um, first of all, I just want to let you know who I am and welcome the replay viewers if any are here later. This is where you can find me at Julie Jordan Scott here on Periscope, also on Twitter. Um, I scope writing and poetry prompts every Monday through Friday. Um, usually at 12.15 or so Pacific time, during the holiday couple of weeks, I'll be probably different timing. Um, I also scope life coaching every morning. Um, and I also have a group called Yay Sayers um, in the evening. So morning, noon, and night you can find me. I hope you'll follow me if you don't already because we have a lot of fun, a lot of personal growth and development. Okay, so our prompt was, I being born a woman, and then it asked us to make a list, or I being born a, uh, or I being born, and to generate a list, and then to free flow right from the list. So I want to share with you what I got. So I being born a poet. I believe I was born a poet. I being born a fourth child. I'm a fourth child out of six. I being born just above my brother. My brother was born like 13, almost 14 months after me. I being born in 1962. I being born right before my family moved across the country. I being born on the sunrise of the civil rights era. I being born a wasp, which is shorthand for white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. I being born a woman stifled. Um, part of that is from the era. As a little girl and as a woman, we didn't get to speak up as much. Um, and I'm sure that many of us have that, no matter what our gender, no matter what our ethnicity. Um, I being born an early target for taunting by my siblings primarily, but also by random people. Um, and that taunting continues. It's interesting how that happens. Um, and recently, I, for whatever reason, these stories have popped back into my head. Um, and so when stories pop back into one's head, I look as a creative person and a writer and as a writing coach, what's up with that? And oftentimes writing it down helps us to process it and set it aside or process it and create something from it. So and then my final one, um, I being born unwanted, avoided, yet conceived nonetheless. And obviously I made it here, right? So um, I wrote Stream of Consciousness style. I have about a page and a half that I'm going to go through with you. And you can hear, this is to model what I suggest that you do. So um, I, I scooped up a couple of different threads from the beginning of the prompt and kind of just went through them um, in little bits and pieces. I didn't go very deep or very wide on any of them. Um, and yet there are nuggets that I may pull into either essays or poetry later on. Um, if nothing else, it was fun to take Edna's words and adapt them to my words in my life. I wonder if my hair is making weird sounds over there, so let's put that back there. I can hear dogs barking, I don't know if you can. Okay, here we go. Okay, I being born though avoided. My parents' actions to deter me went unheeded by providence or bad luck. Depends upon your perspective or your vantage point. I, being born in the sunrise of the civil rights era, and just before my brother who helped me to understand the civil rights era. Me, the fourth child, he the fifth. Me, the quote-unquote normal one. Though many might debate that normal title. A poet, after all, is not normal. A creative adventurer is not so normal yet, and I'm trying to turn the page, I hear someone coming in the house, oh man, man, yet not so normal, yet wonderful, wonderful, like the smell of an almond orchard blossoming, or a tulip magnolia in flower, how that looks, or a newborn opening her eyes for the first time. I want to talk to you about people who have forgotten the miracle of the sunrise. 
that comes from the end of the prompt. The end of the prompt is about having conversations with someone. So all of these topics might be something that you might want to talk to about people you haven't seen for a while. And interestingly enough, when I get together with people, oftentimes we, we watch the sunset together. And that has become a ritual that my children and I continue. And we just do it. And we have guests over at our house. We'll say, okay, uh, look at the time, look at the sun, let's go. And we'll go to some place to watch the sun set. So I want to talk up to you about people who've forgotten the miracle of sunrise. The veil I wear, because I was born in 1962 on the edge of the civil rights era, here on this tower that separates me, my brother and I separate, my mother laughing separate and equal. My stomach complains just briefly. Just briefly, my pen slows. I listen to it move against the page. Letters, they all sound the same. Happy, sad, apathetic. Only poets listen to the sound of the pen writing. Is that assertion accurate? I wonder what Ursula Le Guin might say. Does she listen to the pen on the page? My pen aches, my thumb dented, my middle finger dented. I nearly fall asleep writing as I hold the pen, wondering. And that's what I got from the prompt. I being born A, list one through 10, for conversations when we meet again. So perhaps that's for you and me. If you're a replay viewer, maybe we'll meet for the first time soon. Wouldn't that be fun? Let me know what you write, what you come up with. Now, as I reread my words, I'm like, hmm, I think I'll write about that, that poet thing. The poet came up over and over again. I wasn't necessarily expecting it to. So as I said early on, my name is Julie Jordan Scott. I am a creative life coach. My work is about inspiring your words, it is ins inspiring your artistic rebirth. The world is waiting for you. The world is waiting for you to write, to bring your stuff to life. And what a precious privilege it is to come alongside you for that process. Thank you so much for you being here, participating with me. And as always, I look so forward to when we meet again.